This is breaking news. Brittany Aldean addresses Marin Morris feud, claims singer and her friends have it out for me. Brittany Aldean denied that the comments she made that sparked her feud with Marin Morris were transphobic. Two years after her headline making feud with Marin Morris surfaced, Brittany Aldean is sharing her side of the story. During a new episode of Try That in a Small Town podcast, the famous wife of Jason Aldean, with whom she shares two kids, addressed her drama with a country star. Before she recalled the series of events that sparked their conflict, Brittany claimed Marin and her friends had spoken about her months earlier on social media. She's got a group of friends here in Nashville that they just have it out for me for whatever reason, Brittany claimed. Which to be so pro-woman and all the bulls asterisk asterisk, you're not, because I've never said a word to you and you come for me. She continued, why? Because I'm an easy target, because I'm a wife, and I don't have a stage as a platform, but I have social media, for some reason, I offend them. I don't know what it is. However, at the beginning, Brittany said she'd brushed off their earlier comments. I was like, oh, whatever. I don't care, she said. They can talk. It doesn't bother me. Thick skin. Thank the Lord, right? As for the crux of their issue, Brittany said their situation turned into World War III after she posted a video of herself before and after makeup on Instagram with the caption, I'd really like to thank my parents for not changing my gender when I went through my tomboy phase. I love this girly life. Brittany explained on the podcast that she was thankful her parents did not ask her if she wanted to be a boy because she liked sports, referencing undergoing gender-affirming procedures. In response, Marin referred to Brittany as Insurrection Barbie on Twitter, writing, It's so easy to, like, not be a scumbag human. Sell your clip-ins and zip it, Insurrection Barbie. This post has been made private or deleted by the post's owner. So that was my new name, which I've actually, like, I enjoy now. It's fine. People actually refer to me as that sometimes. It's funny, Brittany said on the podcast. She called me that and then she started to make fun of my business, which at the time was hair extensions. But to me, it's like once again going back to the feminist movement, right? Aren't you supposed to be about peace, love, and all inclusivity and all the things? Why are you coming for me like that about my business? I don't need to work. I choose to work. I am a working woman who doesn't have to who wants to provide for my children and my family, and that should be something to be proud of, not like put down. Brittany admitted to calling Marin Karen Morris in response. On the podcast, she denied the accusations that her comments were transphobic and noted that she has a gay best friend. She also reiterated her stance that children under the age of 18, in my opinion, should not be able to choose their gender, much less have a surgery that is altering their life, said Brittany. Let them make that decision when they're of age.